None of us, scientists, politicians, governors, citizens, suspected that there could be a great tsunami in Aceh. We were completely taken off guard. Where had it come from? And how did it happen? Professors Kerry C. and Charles Rubin have been searching for clues along the tsunami-ravaged coast in Indonesia. They want to unlock the secrets of these mysterious, yet devastating events. So that next time, people will be better prepared. That was a wake-up call for the world. And the more we can understand how often tsunamis occur, how big are they, we can help people plan for the future and live a much more safer life. The scientific community was stunned by the scale of the Asian tsunami. For those near the Indian Ocean, it was a day they will never forget. Berhan Shah Nudin is fishing 60 miles off the coast of Indonesia. After five days at sea, Berhan is looking forward to seeing his wife and baby again. Then, unknown to him, a powerful surge of water passes beneath his boat. This far out at sea, the wave is only a few feet high. But by the time the wave reaches shore, just 25 minutes later, it will have grown to a 100-foot-high killer. 60 miles away is Banda Aceh, a coastal city of 200,000. They have no idea a catastrophe is racing towards them. Risha Zarani was 12 at the time. She's come back to where her family's house used to be. This is my house, but it's a different building because uh, when the tsunami comes, uh, my house gone. That morning, she's in bed when the tsunami strikes the coastal city. Water pours through the streets, picking up debris as it goes. Many here have no idea what a tsunami is and don't know how to react. My mom screaming uh, and told, told me to wake, wake up. Come on, the wave comes. I don't know what, what is that wave. By now, the water is sweeping smashed buildings and vehicles along the streets. The big wave come over there. It's a really big wave, dark, crushing the house and yeah, destroy every building here. But I run away as fast as I can. Meanwhile, in Thailand, the sea has disappeared from the harbors and beaches. Curious tourists venture out, unaware of the danger. <laughs> Then, on the horizon, they notice turbulent white water racing towards them. Anyone still on the beach is swept away. Within seconds, the tsunami inundates the hotels. In Thailand, 
the death toll tops 5,000. The tsunami rolls on around the coastlines of the Indian Ocean, striking 12 more countries and killing nearly a quarter of a million in total. Back in Indonesia, the city of Banda Aceh has been razed to the ground. The wave crashed uh, all of the building. Too many building was broke, and too many people dead. Bodies everywhere in house up off the roof. Yeah, Banda Aceh so messed up. Risha has lost everything but the clothes she's wearing. Yet she is one of the lucky ones. I still have my family. <laughs> yeah, that's really important than, than just tough. I just need my family together. That's OK. Behan returns from his fishing voyage to find a horrific scene. Dan kita karena mungkin cuaca gelap ya, kita kondisi laut ini kita nggak tahu gimana. Sementara kita tak tahu harus berbuat apa. Dan kita pun hening lah. Tak tahu berbuat apa-apa, kami bertiga ya. The seafront community of Ulele has taken the worst hit of all. And Behan's family is missing. Rumah kita sudah jadi laut, rumah saya kan. Tidak ada bekas. Dan kita kan berusaha mencari. Ternyata sampai sekarang belum jumpa. Jadi kita punya kesimpulan mereka sudah tidak ada lagi.